So, what I've done so far is um, created something that has a button, add a text view, and the idea is when you click the button, it will change the text in the text view. Uh, I've also plugged my uh, Android device onto the computer uh, using one of the kind of USB cables that comes with it. Um, I've also had to change my Android device to make sure it's set to developer mode. Um, if you don't know how to do that, it's not hard to find out. Just Google it, your device name, how to enable developer mode. It's usually quite simple. Uh, and once you do it, uh, enable developer mode, uh, so you can put code on it that's uh, not from the uh, Play Store, you also have to switch on um, USB debugging, so it does things for your cable. So anyway, once you've done all that and plugged it in, you can then go ahead and build your project. It says build there and it says run, so I'll click run. Running the app, the first thing I'll do is I'll look for any connected devices. And right now my phone's popped up with a message saying, the computer's RAC fingerprint is blah, blah, blah. Just say, OK. That allows your uh, device to be used using this software. If you don't say OK to it, you can't use that device. It might not pop up, but if it's the first time, it should pop up. So it's noticed I've got one of these Huawei phones uh, and that whatever version of Android I have there. There's also an option to create a, a new virtual device, which is like an emulator. Um, I recommend not doing that because it's really, really slow. So I'll hit OK. So I've hit OK and nothing seems to be happening at the moment. Um, it's the usual sort of Android Studio thing where things take a little bit of time. At the very bottom of the screen there it says Gradle Build Running. So it's having a go at this. It's trying to basically create the application. It makes a, a, an application with a file name ending in the APK. And that's basically all your code and things, put in it, any graphics you're using, any sound effects, etc. Um, it may pop up with a message while it's doing this. Um, it may not, so we'll just wait and see. Uh, I'm going to let this video uh, play on um, for another, I don't know, 10 seconds before I pause it. Um, but it's definitely done a build and it's uh, attempting to create the application. Um, once it does do that, at some point the application will appear on your device. And you'll also find it's been installed on the device as well. Just here, the Gradle build's finished. And believe it or not, the application's actually popped up on my phone. You can't see it. I'll test it out anyway by pressing the hello button. And it does change the text to hello to you. That's all it does. Right, not very much to do, but that's what it does. It definitely works. Um, I've actually skipped off or skipped out a lot of things here. I haven't explained much to do with the code that surrounds the code we just looked at there. Um, these areas up here that say import are importing information from different parts of Android. There's lots of them there. The top part relates to the actual application you've created. You recognize things like its name over there. There's a Harkin name example com up there as well. This is basically a package. It contains lots of information like files and that. You have this class here. Every application has a class. You have many classes, but in reality, we'll just deal with one class. It's not part of our coursework at the moment. And as it says here, it's the main activity class. Uh, further down there, we'll skip out some lines like overrides. There's basically things don't change. Uh, but this one here says on create, whenever the application starts, this is the exact place where it jumps to to start, right? Now these two lines of code were already there before. And in reality, if you read through them, you spot this bit, activity underscore main. You'll see that there, right? And that piece there sounds like the XML file, doesn't it? Which it is, it's that file up there on the left. So that's basically saying, I want to see a specific screen. In this case, it's the one called activity underscore main. 